Coach from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Indianapolis Colts. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. On second down, here's Long. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Luck able to find Hilton there for a Colt first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first down, Luck. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Good yardage there for the Colts. 18 and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in, with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you will open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A shotgun snap for Love. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Here's Luck. It's complete to Graham. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that have to be pinpointing here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Yeah, yeah. 
They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Now lock on third and goal. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. So with fourth down coming up, here's Adam Vinatieri now for the Colts field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Vinatieri's kick is good. Adam Vinatieri, he just keeps doing it. I mean, you look back to week eight, past Morton Anderson becoming the NFL's all-time leading scorer. What a career it has been for him. And not many kickers in the Hall of Fame. But Adam Vinatieri will join them in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's just a matter of when. And I'm wondering if he's accumulated enough to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. I would say so, because it's not just longevity that's gotten him this record. Think about the kicks that he's made. The kick against Oakland in the snow in the playoffs. How about the, the, the Super Bowl kick against the Rams when he's with the Patriots? How about with the Colts getting it done there and winning another Super Bowl? He's made so many big kicks that we can remember. He's one of those guys that I believe we should talk about being a first ballot Hall of Famer. Well, for the Kansas City Chiefs, as their offense takes the field again, the road to a first round bye in the number one overall seed that hit a big speed bump week 15 with that one point loss to the Chargers CD. Yeah, it certainly did. It set the playoff picture on its ear, didn't it? I mean, when you think about it now, we kind of had Kansas City locked in as the number one seed, but we'll have to see how it all plays. But here's the bottom line though. It doesn't matter to me where Kansas City plays, whether at Arrowhead or they go on the road. That offense, it can travel with Patrick Mahomes at the controls. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here we go. Green, 90. Mahomes to throw on second down. Looking middle. It's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third and five. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. Mahomes to the former Rams, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Obviously, the Kansas City backfield, very unsettled, but they might have something in Damian Williams. I think that they do, and I thought he was a quality back when he was in Miami, and in his last game, 123 yards from scrimmage, two touchdowns, and the loss to the Chargers in Week 15. But he definitely showed something in that game that keeps Kansas City feeling optimistic about their backfield, and they're still hoping to get Spencer Ware back from injury. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. 
I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Well, Charles, the Indianapolis Colts, you remember this year they started 1-5. That was back on October 14th. That was their record. And then you look up after week 15, that 23 to nothing went over Dallas that you called. And they really have turned this season around. How have they done it? What they've done is they've stayed the course. You know, from the general manager to the head coach, Frank Reich, they had a plan in place. They understood what they were trying to accomplish. They waited for some guys to get healthy. And Andrew Luck's right arm got healthier and healthier. And that team really came together. They've now won seven out of their last eight after week 15. And if they get into the playoffs, they're a type of team that no one really wants to play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Luck now on second down. Brought in over the middle by Graham. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll fake it. Now Luck. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz cutting and down he goes. Justin Houston coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now a carry for Mack. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. All right, Brent, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The Colts on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Out of the gun, Luck. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Ware takes the give from Mahomes, and he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. It was Matthew Adams who got him down on the defensive side. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Mahomes giving to Ware on the draw. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be 
giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Here we go now. Three, three, three. They'll run now with Ware. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Hey, here we go. Green. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Here we go now. Three. Now here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Colk went on to kick as he sends it away. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Allen Bailey in on the stop. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Luck. And this is going to be incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up the first down and change our momentum? To throw, it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Well, partner, league-wide, I think we're set up for a wild month of January. It seems like this season, more than others, we've had a number of teams that you maybe say, hey, they're the Super Bowl favorites. Kind of the Rams early, then it was the Chiefs, Patriots kept winning, then the Saints, and now, heck, maybe even the Texans or the Bears could claim that moniker. Yeah, it's going to make for a wild month of January. And you just wonder right now, are we missing a team or two that's just a little bit outside the playoff hunt? Could they get hot and be those teams you don't want to play and carry that momentum all the way to the Super Bowl? Yes, I'm looking at the Indianapolis Colts as one of those teams.
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And it's complete to Chris Conley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination look pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a now. punch, though. Blue 45. They run it here. Where? And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. In on the tackle, Kamoko Ture. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Here we go. Blue for they stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. The reason that counter and misdirection plays work so well is that usually you've given them a reason to think that everything's going to the direction it starts initially. You've run that type of a play throughout the game. You've given them that look. And now you're going to counter things and bring it back the other way. Almost a tendency breaker at times. And a lot of it is making sure that you have an illusion, almost like a magician. Look over here. But the play is actually happening over there, and that's where running back's vision comes into play. See the hole in a place where people don't expect and get there with some speed. And that's exactly what he did on that play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Hey, here we go. Blue 45. On the run, it's where down right around the 25. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. This is where, and give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And the kick by Butker is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken at his four. And not a 
bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. A run by Mack to start the drive. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Vinatieri connecting on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-3. to three. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Too bad. <laughs> Super tough. And the first play. Play of the drive there is incomplete. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, partner, like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once, <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madden I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and everyone out there in Madden as well. And hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful holidays for all the... As you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of, a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate that big chest. <laughs> but enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. He's got it. This is Ware. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. From midfield, here's Mahomes on target over the middle of the hill. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. 
And able to find Conley. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Seen the evolution of the wide receivers, they've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Extra point right down the middle, and we are even at 10 apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. And the catch made by Dontrell Inman. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. On first down, Luck. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. To throw is Locke. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Grant. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air. Luck on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. Third down here. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing again is Locke. Breaks through the contact. Caught left side by Hilton. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime.
Luck now 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. Again, Luck. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. To the air again, Locke. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. zone now Luck and he'll get into the end zone touchdown Indianapolis Ryan Grant a 20-yard touchdown and the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead and that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point what a great way to end the half yeah great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline Special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Finitary able to tack on the PAT, and that makes it a 17-10 score. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. I do want to take this time to mention that the next few months, very big in the competitive Madden Championship Series. A few weeks ago, we saw Skimbo go back-to-back. -back That's when... right, back-to-back, -back, second straight year. Boy, you're fired up. And then next up, the Madden Challenge, and it's a $190,000 prize pool, and the ladders to qualify for that tournament now available in month draft mode. Exciting things. By the way, what would your... What, you have a gamer tag, Troy? No, I do not have a gamer tag. You must be a good player in order to earn a moniker. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. If you run an out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Mahomes now 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Caught here by Conley. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved.
The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here we go now. Blue 45. Blue 45. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Here's Mahomes to throw. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and 15. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead and they will receive the football. And an alley to run. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. Here we go now. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On second down, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. Mahomes now to throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. And now it's second down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Now Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. 
fire another one into the end zone. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey from eight yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll fake the handoff. Now Love. The pass complete to Ryan Grant. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Mack, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Staying on the ground with Mack. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on third down, Love. He's going to float this one deep right side. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but... As you said, incomplete. And now here comes Kansas City. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there and handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. Oh, spinning away. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time, we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A-gap blitz? 
But where is the A-gap? It's the space between the center and the guards, either side. So when you're having a double A-gap, but there's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A-gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. Whether it's what we call an even front or an odd front, and an odd front's real easy to figure out. If that guy is lined up over the nose of the center, typically that's an odd front defense. Odd number of people, meaning 3-4 versus the 4-3, which is an even front. You've got to control those guys in the middle. Whether it's the nose or the two defensive tackles in a four-man front, if those guys can't get moved, you cannot run the ball in the middle of the field. And in that play, they were able to actually take care of business. That throw good for four. It's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here we go now. Blue 45. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Mahomes now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Right. Here we go now. Move. And they'll go on the ground. <laughs> and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Here we go now. They run again with Ware. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Here we go. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Looking for the end zone. And this is caught by Watkins for a Chiefs touchdown. Sammy Watkins, 27 yards. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. And man, Charles, talk about singing something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Starting the drive with a give to Mack. And an alley to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Luck now on second down. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give the Colts 13 yards in a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll run with Mack. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Long. Trying to get it to Ebron, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. The 20, 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a KC touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage. Of it. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised. But that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception. And now their task is even tougher. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players. Guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. 
You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Butker now to add the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Luck now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Luck. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, here's Luck. Ebron's got it. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw on second down is Luck. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Colts on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Throwing again is Locke. It's complete to Graham. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. On first down, Locke. Ebron with it over the middle. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They'll run with a former Ole Miss Rebel, Jordan Wilkins. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Play action. Luck. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of five. And that is going to set up a third and one. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he went to ballet school. Got the toes down. And, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Dontrell Inman from four yards out. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say... <laughs> Run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now a play fake here on first down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Four down, four down. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Mahomes to throw on second down. And he's got his man on the out route. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught, Watkins. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Spencer Ware taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Butker now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Out of the gun, Luck. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. On second and ten, Locke. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and ten, Locke. And this one is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten.
Blunt throwing again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a first down throw, Locke. His throw incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air, Luck on second down. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And what can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Back at the five yard line now, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. Now he's doing his part, but still facing a sizable deficit. And he would like to do more, but he needs help from the other two-thirds, right? He needs his defense to bow up a little bit, and he also needs special teams to maybe create some big plays and help them get back in it. Benatari connecting on the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive helmet. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Cut. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Four down, four down, check. Ready, blue 45. And they'll run it here. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. 
The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and eight. Here we go, blue 45. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll set up the screen, this is Williams. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Twelve yards on the return that time, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Colts coming out now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, it's long. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Luck now on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You gotta give some credit there, able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. The Colts on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is third and eight. Back to throw, Love, And that is incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a hit and lock. Lost the football. It's out. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to they having had to, to, and they didn't get it done. Now. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores. Pretty much game set now. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Four down, four down. Here we go. Green. And on the ground they go with a running back. 
And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And another timeout taken by the Colts. As he'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. And Butker able to put this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25 couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know what you just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said coach what do you want to call. He just waved a hand like who cares. Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. Yeah. As they, continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, here's Luck. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.